Good morning guys, hope you're all well. I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog a little bit this week, seeing as my last vlog was such a fail. <laughs> I'm off to get my hair done today, I thought it'd be something a little bit interesting to take you guys to go and see what I get done. Um, I won't film it in depth because we're always chatting and I just forget so uh, yeah but I'll show you the befores and afters. I am contemplating going back brown at some stage but I think today I'm going to stick with the blonde just because I've booked in for a balayage refresh and I don't want to sort of put it on a last minute that we're going back brown today because <laughs> uh, I'm sure that won't go down well. So I'm going to stick with the blonde for a little bit longer but yeah I'm, I'm really bored. I used to be so experimental with my hair and then ever since I hit my late 20s I was like right now I need to grow up. I have a normal hairstyle but I'm a little bit bored but I know for a fact that if I go back brown I will instantly want the blonde and balayage is just kind of the best of both worlds isn't it so I'm so indecisive <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go and get my hair done I've got my dad's birthday meal this evening I'm gonna get back I've got to unpack from holiday because it's almost been a week and I'm still not fully unpacked I'm so lazy uh, but it's just my most hated job in the world unpacking and packing to be fair so I need to get my shit together and head out Okay, it's done. I'm just getting ready to go out. It's probably not the best light to show you in, but literally I've just had a Balayage refresh is just move some of the blonde up to the top. I'm so blonde now. It's really weird There's such a shit light to show you in hang on I feel like that's too bright now <laughs> You get the idea. Um, so yeah, we're just going out for dad's birthday meal. I'm just waiting for dad uh, Dad I'm waiting for Paul to get home um, And yes, it is six o'clock. We've got to be there at eight. So we've got a couple of hours. I'm just uh, Sorting myself out. I think I'm gonna wear my new black zebra shirt from Shein just with some um, What are they called? Just with some black skinny jeans and I'm probably my fake Gucci loafers with like the furry bit inside um, so yeah, not nothing special just something comfy and Something I can get bloated and fat in. Dogs are snoring they refuse to lie on their own bed, they've got to be on my bed. I might film a little bit of the meal on my phone, but it's quite dark in there. It's like an old country pub, so um, the lighting in there. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. I'm going back to 8th and Eden today. After I popped up my last video about going for the Hydra facial, they actually got in touch and asked if I wanted to go back for a couple of like complimentary treatments. Um, and show you guys what they do. So I'm going for the M tone or M sculpt. I'll pop some more information in the description box about the treatments. And then I'm going for one of their Amanda Harrington tans, which is like a full body um, tan application. But they do it with like a brush, not a mitt, and it kind of contours your whole body. So that's going to be exciting. I'm really excited for that. I'm rushing around because I'm going to run late if I don't get my ass in gear. So. I will meet you there. I'm massively early, so I've just pulled over into a farmer's drive. I hope nobody comes down in a tractor. <laughs> um, I left with so much time to spare because usually getting here, the traffic on a morning between like eight and nine is awful. So I left with 40 minutes to spare and I got here in 15 minutes. So I don't want to arrive too early and look too keen. Um, so yeah, I'm just parked up waiting, but uh, yeah, I think it's because it was half term. Nobody was about, so I flew here. Um, but yeah, like I said, sorry, earlier I was in such a rush. I thought I'd had no time to get here, but turns out I was here in a flash. So I'm having the, I think it's either the M Sculpt or the M Tone, which I don't know too much about. I will pop some info down below. I will know more about it when I've had it done. Um, and then that's going to be followed by the Amanda Harrington tan, which looks so, so good. I've been following their socials for ages and watching them do it on people. Um, and it just looks so natural. The lady I know from there, her daughter's just got married and she had it done for her wedding day. And it looked absolutely stunning. So, yeah, I'm really excited to have that done. And it's they put it on with like, I think it's almost like a kabuki brush and they brush it on. 
obviously I will show you when I'm finished. I don't know how much I'll be able to film in there. I don't know which parts of my body I will need um, at the time and picking up my phone and filming might be quite difficult, but I, obviously I will insert any footage, um, any pictures that I do get. So yeah, I'm gonna um, wait five more minutes and then head off. <laughs> leave this on for the rest of the day now um i look scary my face has never been that tan before i'm gonna leave this to cook she said i can either sleep in it or it's only like 11 o'clock now it's probably about 10 o'clock when i had it done so um she said i could wash it off later tonight or i can sleep in it but yeah i'm loving the color i went for olive i think there was one called rose um i can't remember the middle color and then the olive so i went with the olive just because my skin isn't really pale anyway um it's got a little bit of an olivey undertone so i thought this one would look quite nice and i cannot wait to see what the color's like obviously i will report back in the morning when i've washed this off good morning guys i realized i didn't show you my tan and i think it's probably like two days old now <laughs> But I washed it off. It's still really brown, to be fair. But yeah, what am I doing today? Um, I've got a few errands to run. I'm going to need to nip to the post office. I need to post a... Re I need to find a shop that Paul has sent a return to. It's like a Collect Plus thing. Um, so I need to drop that off. I need to nip into town and get something for my cousin's baby shower this weekend. Might have a look around the shops. Not that I've got much money to spend because I'm going to London in a few weeks and I want to save it for that. I haven't really got much planned for the rest of the week other than add mini... What's going on with my hair here? It looks like a big splodge of blonde. I've styled it wrong. Um, yeah, it's going to be an add mini content making week because I feel like I haven't put anything on Instagram of any use lately. So <laughs> I need to get that sorted. i got to wait in all day tomorrow for this fucking mirror which has just been a nightmare for this to be collected um i ordered this mirror from william wood mirrors months ago um i think it was august the 13th i'm sure it said on the paperwork that i ordered it it had such a wait time because of all like covid and everything all the shipping is just useless apparently um it arrived last week which is like three months I've waited and they sent it in the wrong fucking colour. They sent the black one and I ordered the antique gold. So I was just, I was just going to keep the black one, but then I was like, no, I've spent an arm and a leg on this mirror. It's got to be right. So it's taken them about five days to correct it. And apparently the right one is being shipped out um, and will be delivered tomorrow or Saturday. So I'm just waiting to hear for that. But it has been an absolute ball ache. I had it on pre-order for ages, which is why it took so long to get here. But oh, God, I bought it for like outfit photos and stuff for Instagram. Just so I can get my whole body in it. At the moment, I've only got... I'll show you. At the moment, I've only got this one from Ikea. Now, it's fine. But when I'm like stood back here, you can see um, all the surroundings and stuff. Um, and this new one is huge so um, yeah I can't remember that it's a really good mirror though if you want like a cheap alternative um, I think this was 40 to 50 pound it's really good really nice mirror but um, yeah I just needed something a bit bigger while I'm here I might as well show you my outfit um, green it's like a fluffy material you know what you get inside of like sweatshirts feels like that um, I bought this from a charity shop probably about a year ago i think it was one pound fifty so absolute bargain and i love the colors 
little crop top from where's this from it's either new look or h&m um actually it was a longer top and i cut it off but yeah just a basic necklace is anna louisa dog tag necklace and then i just put my signet ring on it that my mum and dad bought me when i was about eight um jeans are the new look lift and shape mum jeans i think they're called shoes are selected femme and i'm just going to chuck my leather jacket on over the top i think so yeah i'm going to get this day started i fell back to sleep this morning after paul had bought me a cup of tea and i didn't wake up till half past nine which is absolutely disgusting but <laughs> do you ever get that where you wake back up and like shit i've wasted half my day i need to get up i woke up in one of those panics Good morning guys it is the first of november which means only one thing is the start of christmas in my eyes i absolutely love the run up to christmas so yeah now we've got halloween out of the way we um can focus on the important stuff which is christmas i am dying for like if anybody else watches it the, the channel five like really bad Christmas film. They're all like a budget American film, but they're so good, I love them so much. I'm just hoping they start soon because my days will end at like four o'clock in the afternoon and I will watch those until Paul comes home. He won't watch them with me because he hates them, but it is my guilty pleasure, I absolutely love those. I just woke up really excited for Christmas this morning. Start buying presents. Me and my mum are going to visit my live brother in London in the middle of November, so that's really exciting. I love London at Christmas time. Gonna do some shopping, going out for some meals, so that will be nice. I might have something actually different to vlog for a change, rather than me just sat here talking. I don't know what I came on here to say, really, other than I just wanted some company while I was getting ready. <laughs> I've gotta go do the food shopping. We have absolutely nothing in the house. I couldn't even make a sandwich yesterday, so we had to settle for jam on toast but that's always a winner isn't it um i need to go and get vegetables i feel like we're just eating shit all weekend why is my eye dripping i haven't even got mascara on oh that didn't feel very nice um so yeah i need to go and do a big food shop i'm thinking lots of roasted veg i want to do some butternut squash soup i also want to start doing some preserves so if anybody knows any good like pickle recipes, let me know. I've been I was on um, Pinterest all night last night, just pinning different jars of preserved vegetables and fruit. <laughs> Is that a thing that happens when you get your thirties? Um, so yeah, I want I need to get some jars though because all my old jam jars are just disgusting. So yeah, I need to go and do the food shop. I've got loads of content I need to shoot for Instagram. I want to have a week of just bashing it out because I've had stuff sent from brands weeks ago that I still haven't done anything with and it just makes me feel guilty. But I just haven't, I say I haven't had the time. I have had the time, but other things just got in the way last week. So it just kind of took a bit of a backseat Instagram, as you might be able to tell if you do follow me over there. Um, I've got a load of stuff from Super Dry I need to shoot. I've got some tattoo skincare stuff. I can't even remember, to be fair. I need to look in my box and go through what I've got. But yeah, that is my um, week, basically, this week. So not a lot to film, but I thought I'd just jump on this morning and have a bit of a catch up. What did we do over the weekend? Um, so I went to my cousin's baby shower on Saturday, just gone. That was really nice. She's, um, when's she due? January the 8th. But uh, yeah, that was nice. Nice to see her. She's having a little girl, which is so exciting. Another girl in the family. What else did we do? Oh, we went to a party at one of the tattoo shops in town on Saturday night. That was good fun. Nice just to get out of the house and be a little bit, have a bit of normality. Although every time I do go out now, I get like major like butterflies or I get really nervous. I think it's just because we haven't been anywhere for two years or however long it's been with the whole Covid shit. Um, but yeah, it was just nice to have a little bit of normality. So that was a good night. Um, didn't get too drunk either, which was nice. I woke up Sunday feeling fresh. Um, and yeah, Sunday, yesterday, I just did a load of housework, just the normal stuff, went to Paul's mum and dad's for tea. And then it brings us up to today. So not a huge lot to catch you up on, but that was my weekend. 
Um, like I said, this week is just going to be work heavy. I'm just really excited about Christmas now. Does anybody else share my Christmas love? I feel like the run up to Christmas is more exciting than Christmas Day itself. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love Christmas Day. I just think the build up is so nice. There's so many events to go and do. I've got two wreath making courses that I'm going on. There's loads of stuff on at the garden centres over Christmas, so that's really exciting. Showing my age. <laughs> but yeah, it, November and December are going to be good months. If there's anything these guys recommend to do in London while we're there. We've done all the museums and stuff before, but I think we are going to do a museum again. A um, bit of shopping. We stay, my brother lives in Hackney Wick, so a nice place. i um, going to go over to Westfield, do some shopping. But yeah, if you've got any cool recommendations, we're going to Cornerstone for a meal one night. Um, which I'm so excited about because the chef there used to work at the restaurant we used to go to in Cornwall um, but he now owns his own place in London so that's cool really exciting it's all like fish based but yeah other than that we've kind of got like just free time so any recommendations from you Londoners do let me know so I'm going to finish doing my hair and um, go food shopping I guess. I've got a love-hate relationship with food shopping. I really don't want to go but I know once I'm there I will love it. I will mention also whenever I'm doing my hair I get so many questions about uh, the curling wand. It's so old. It's a, uh, I don't know how you say it, I think it's Jose, Jose? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Eva and it's, a, it's called the Trio. It's got like three in interchangeable heads. I've had it for years. They sent it me years ago. But it's so good, it's still going so strong. It's a little bit pricey, um, but so worth it. If I was to buy another curling wand, I would get this because I just know it does the job. And the barrels, I think this is the thickest barrel and then they go down. I think it's either 30 mil or 25 mil. But this is what gives me my like natural wave and I just brush through it, put some serum in it and it's good to go. That is me for the morning. I'm going to sort my shit out because this is just one big ramble. So I'll show you my outfit quickly. Um, I've just got a linen, a white linen shirt on. I can't really work out the neck of this. Most sweater vests are V-neck, aren't they? But this one's like a high neck. So I don't know whether I look like a little bit like a boy with this collar so high up. But we'll roll with it. It'll be okay. <laughs> um, linen shirt is H&M. This is H&M as well, actually. And it's quite long. It's got the slits up the side. Uh, jeans are really old Primark. They're their vintage mum style. And I just ripped the knee and distressed the hem. I need a new pair. They're completely battered. But I just love the colour denim of these. Um, so that's those. And then I've got on some new trainers from Superdry. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see those. Oh god, my white sock's a bit high, isn't it? I might have to change. <laughs> I might have to change that. These are actually their new vegan trainers which i love so much i love a bright white trainer and they've got like a red white and blue toggle on the end of the lace which i think is a nice little detail but yeah they're really cool and they've got the black backs on them oh my god that sock looks so awful i need to change that but yeah they're really cool i love those quite a good price point as well for a um, nice quality pair of like vegan leather trainers I will link those below. I'm a super dry ambassador. I sound so wanky saying that. Um, <laughs> but I do get 10% off the website. So I'll put my code across the screen. If you do want to buy anything on there, make sure you use that because it will save you a little bit of money. I'm uh, not sure about this neckline. I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing a collar so high up. They look better tucked in. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I think it's because this is cream and this is white. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck it. I'm only going to Aldi. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is my outfit. I'll probably just check on my leather jacket as well. It makes me look massive. Am I overthinking this? I might put a t-shirt on. I love the sweater vest trend on everyone. And then I come to wear it and I just look like a bit of a twat. You can hear Barry licking his feet. I am sorry. It's the most grotesque sound ever. Let me know what videos you want to see. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.